Question number 161. The nutritive cells found in seminiferous tubule of testes are meocytes, primary spermatocytes, interstitial cells, Sertoli cells. At the inner lining of seminiferous tubules, certain nursing cells, certain nutritive cells are present and these cells are also called as nursing cells or Sertoli cells. These cells are responsible for nursing the sperms, for nursing the developing sperms during spermatogenesis. So the correct answer for nutritive cells in the seminiferous tubule of testis would be Sertoli cells. Let's go over the remaining options. Option one, meocytes. Meocytes are diploid cells which undergo meiosis during gametogenesis and these are not nutritive. Option two, primary spermatocytes would also be incorrect as these are not nutritive. And lastly, interstitial cells. Interstitial cells are not found in seminiferous tubules, but are found in interstitial spaces, that is spaces between seminiferous tubules and are responsible for secreting androgens. This is also incorrect. The correct answer here is option number four, Sertoli cells. So let's start with our next question, which is question number 162. In human females, meiosis 2 is completed in. And the correct answer to this question is option number 2, fallopian tube. Meiosis 2 is completed in fallopian tube after entry of sperm within ovum during fertilization. So this is a correct answer. Let's discuss rest of the options. The very first option is ovary and this cannot be a correct answer to our question because meiosis 1 is completed in tertiary follicle within ovary and this tertiary follicle then develop into graphene follicle. So this cannot be a correct answer and uterus is also an incorrect option. So the correct answer to this question is option number two. Now let's move on to the next question. Question number 163. Increase in synthesis of LH luteinizing hormone in mid-cycle called LH surge is responsible for and the options given are pregnancy, ovulation, implantation and gestation and the correct answer to this question is option number two ovulation because rupturing of mature graphene follicle due to LH surge to release ovum is called ovulation because rest of the options are incorrect as attachment of embryo with the wall of uterus is called implantation and that leads to pregnancy and thereafter the period of gestation starts. So the correct answer to this question is option number Let's move on to the next question. Question number 164. Increase in estrogen and progesterone ratio during pregnancy is helpful in. And the options given are parturition, formation of mucus plug, maintenance of pregnancy. And the last option given is attachment of embryo with uterus. And the correct answer to this question is option number one, parturition. Because androgens of adrenal cortex are converted into estrogen to increase estrogen to progesterone ratio, which prepares and lubricates female genital tract for parturition by increasing mucus secretion. The rest of the options like formation of mucus plug and maintenance of pregnancy are the functions of hormone progesterone only. And the last option, attach attachment of embryo with uterus is an incorrect option. And the correct answer to this question is option number one. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 165. Fleshy folds of tissue which extend down the mons pubis and surround vaginal opening are and the options given are labia minora, labia majora, hymen and clitoris. Now this is the exact line which is given in your NCRT book and the correct answer to this question is option number two labia majora. Fleshy fold of skin outer to labia minora and below mons pubis is labia majora. That surrounds vagina and vaginal vestibule. Clitoris. Clitoris is an incorrect option because it is tiny finger like structure that lies at upper junction of labia minora. Hymen cannot be a correct answer because hymen is a membranous structure which partially covers vaginal opening. So the correct answer to this question is Option number two. Let's proceed to the next question. 